to answer the questions directly or in some cases at all severely compromised his credibility. Is what we're seeing in part here just the hubris of wealth, that wealthy people feel like I don't have to pay my bills, I don't have to tell the truth, I don't even have to go to the bank, I just go to my private wealth manager and they give me money because of my name? Well, even within the world of extremely wealthy people, Donald Trump is in a class by himself. Most wealthy people are not this unhinged in a courtroom and, <laughs> and, and haven't had the sort of decades of financial malfeasance and pushing the, the edges of civil society to get what he wants and the rule of law. And it finally caught up with him. And I think one thing really focusing on, you know, in the in the ruling, when Angoran said that the, the the defendants disdain for the crimes they were charged with bordered on the pathological, I'm paraphrasing, but he certainly used the word pathologic. And and all of Trump's antics in the courtroom and his lawyers' antics that were scoring them big points on the political trail, that he sort of felt uh, he was free to do, I think, and his lawyer, Alina Haba, who's now brought two massive financial penalties on our client's shoulders, uh, uh, attacked the judges in these free-for-alls in every case. And I think they thought they were just going to roll the courtroom. And and I was surprised by, by the severity of the financial penalty in this case. I thought what Angoran was going to do was kick Trump out of New York, and maybe shave this $370 million ask down to a much lower amount. And I think you can read into this document that that he was sick of the way Trump conducted himself and and he wanted him to pay for it. In terms of the private bank, just and I'll be brief, the remarkable thing about his private banker was the commercial real estate lenders at Deutsche Bank ended up getting burned by Donald, by Donald Trump and refused to do business with him. And the private bankers in the same bank went ahead and did it. So it's not only that the wealthy can get around the corners the rest of us have to deal with, they can sometimes play people in the same bank off against one another to get loans they might not otherwise get.